after days of speculation, will he, when he'll, will he, how will he propose? It turns out Prince Harry already had proposed to Meghan Markle, asking her to marry him in London earlier this month. They've been spending more and more time together, here hand in hand at the Invictus Games, a very public show of their close relationship, becoming one of the most famous couples in the world, now officially to marry. Meghan speaking openly about their feelings to Vanity Fair, telling the magazine, we're two people who are really happy and in love. So how did this American capture the heart of the world's most eligible bachelor? Okay. Acting in the drama Suits, here trying on a wedding dress, has brought her a measure of fame and familiarity with the paparazzi. Markle also ran her own lifestyle blog called The Tig, appearing here on Today to promote it. We even have a nice faux fall set here to get us in the mood. And like Harry, she also devotes a lot of her time to charity work, visiting India and Africa in support of the international Christian charity World Vision an avid social media user, leaving hints of their relationship on Instagram. Harry gave the game away when he issued an official warning, leave her alone. Harry and Meghan could be uh, an enormous uh, force for good and a really key power couple. This is not the first serious relationship for either of them. At 36, Meghan's been married before, although her marriage to movie producer Trevor Engelson lasted just two years. And Harry is no stranger to beautiful women. He's been pictured with several since his first serious love, a six-year relationship with Chelsea Davey. And he's made no secret of the fact that he loves children, telling Newsweek, I am determined to lead a relatively normal life, and if I'm lucky enough to have children, they can have one too. Harry recently speaking out about the weight of royal expectation. Is there any one of the royal family who wants to be king or queen? I don't think so. But he seems to have found his way, sharing the pain of losing his mother early by encouraging war veterans to speak out about their trauma. Hello, Orlando. Only one other British royal married an American divorcee. Edward VIII gave up his throne and title for Wallace Simpson in 1936, paving the way for Harry's grandmother to become queen. But Harry won't have to give anything up to marry Meghan. With Meghan Markle now, an American in the royal family, that means that America has a little piece of our monarchy. As fifth in line to the throne, he did have to ask the Queen's permission to marry Meghan Markle. Obviously, she said yes. Today, she said she was delighted with the news. Prince Charles said he was thrilled. And we heard this from Meghan Markle's parents. We are incredibly happy for Meghan and Harry. Our daughter has always been a kind and loving person. To see her union with Harry, who shares the same qualities, is a source of great joy for us as parents. We wish them a lifetime of happiness and are very excited for their future together. So what's next? A lot of activity at Kensington Palace today. The obligatory photo up in front of the press. We'll get to see them in, in just a little while and a sit down interview to be released later today. Guys, hopefully we'll hear more about the big proposal and see the ring. Matt, uh, Savannah. Kelly Kobie. Kelly, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.